guys. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventures. It's the dining edition. It is the dining edition, and it's restaurant week in Denver. It is. And we're down here in Rhino, or up here in Rhino, or in Rhino. Yeah. We're in Rhino District, which is just off of really I-70 and I-25. We're about to get hit by a car. <laughs> almost. Almost. Alrighty. Almost. Yeah, they're fine. Okay. Anyway, we're here at here Blue at Blue Moon Brewery. Blue Moon Brewery. And I'm excited. Me? Oh, I know it's your favorite beer. It is my favorite beer. But it's part of Restaurant Week, so it we is. made reservations for dinner, and we're gonna try some beer, and we're gonna check it out in there because it looks really cool from the outside. Yep, and the food looks delicious. Yes, it does. So, so come so, on, let's go look. Let's go check it out. See? Fifteen. 
tasting rooms in here. All the different blue moon. Here's my favorite. I have not tried a lot of these. Ooh, raspberry cream. What the what?
actually, I would pair this with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, it is delicious with this, but I would pair this with any cereal. <laughs> <laughs> It's good, really good. Is that like cheese? It's like a little parmesan cheese. Crisp. Okay. With the honey chili glazed salmon, so the Tangarello IPA will complement the honey chili glaze and the pineapple. Okay. Yep. There's pineapple in the kettle. It smells so, so good. You're going to enjoy that. It smells really good. Chicken, cilantro. No onions. No onions. I think they're onions off, but it looks pretty delicious. Yeah, take a bite. Let me know how that is. Belgium white cheesecake with a IPA caramel. That looks so good. Try that okay. one, baby. Here's that one. Oh, it does look good. dessert anyway so wait a second you said you were full <laughs> that's really tasty all right and then this one is the these are house-made hand pies and we got the apple cinnamon a la mode. with the uh, little man ice cream little What's man that? ice cream that would be the blue moon beer honey little man ice cream yeah check that one out then I will and try. Apple. Make sure you get the apple. Yeah, try to cut in the middle there a little bit. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh. And I feel like I need to like... Get some of that on there and then what's what's that? That's the, that's the beer honey. Oh my. are supposed to pair well with your dessert beer. The Mexican chocolate beer, which is so good. It tastes like Mexican chocolate. And it does it taste really good with both of these. Very, very good. All right. 
Yellow. I'm not going to try these at all. Okay, then I don't I'll... like dessert. <laughs> I've been waiting all night all right, for these. Which one are you gonna try? I'll do this one first. This one? Nope. <laughs> okay. Man, we're just getting everybody yeah. food tonight. It's hard with this shadow, sorry. We've got a huge light directly above us. Yeah, you need to put that. You need to put that on there. It's a little uh, a little bit of ice cream. Oh my goodness. Isn't that amazing? Oh my. And I guess they make another one. This one's apple cinnamon, but they make a blueberry lemon lemon custard one that's supposed to be amazing as well. And it's all got that oh. cinnamon on top of it. So good. Oh. So good. That was really good. I really enjoyed it. Hey, I didn't have the beer part. I just enjoyed the food part, and it was really good. Yeah, for a brewery, it was not like typical bar food. No. It was like a nice dinner. Yeah, it really was. Yeah. It was really good, tasty. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed those desserts. I like the desserts anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, and I thought, you know what I really like was that salad. That sounds like the really chicken good. Chicken salad. That was a meal in itself, I felt like. I'm, I'm glad that I split it. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. That was really tasty. Yeah. Really the salmon was good. Mm -hmm. That the sounds really good. good. The beer was good. It was just all really good. And for um, being restaurant week, it was only like $35. And you get an appetizer, you get your salad, you get your dinner, and then you get um, a flight or a beer. I believe, right? No, so, well, close to it. So, yeah, you get your appetizer, you get your three, two courses. I think you get your appetizer, uh, like a salad, and then, because we got the pretzels too. Yeah. So, you got, we got, and you have choices in each one. So, appetizer, then like the salad, then your main course, and then also included in the bag is you can get a beer or a non alcoholic drink, or you can do the flight like Chris did, and that's like $8. Yeah. So, but, 35 bucks for, for all that food, that ain't bad. And then mine was, I know, eight bucks for the thing. And so. And you paid for dessert. You paid for the dessert. Was, yeah, they were like $6 a piece. Yeah, so. They were so good. They were good. So, really a, a good deal all the way around. Really yeah. good food. Something uh, different. Tammy, our waitress, is really nice. She, mm -hmm. you know, gave us those little readings of the pairings, which was really cool. Wow. So, really cool place. It's been here for about four years, down here in Rhino. So we, we don't get up in this area very often, but there are some cool stuff up here. Yeah, put the link in for three restaurants that we've been to that are also featured in Restaurant Week. That's right. So that would be? So, um, real quick, Restaurant Week started on February 21st, which yesterday or so, runs through March 1st. First. And those restaurants that are part of that are the Bacon Social House, the uh, Beatrice and Woodsley, and no, oh, what's that over there? Look at that. <laughs> uh, adrift. Adrift. One of our favorites. I love Adrift. Yeah, so those three, yes. there are hundreds of restaurants that are part of the restaurant week. And is it restaurant week? It's restaurant week. Restaurant week. <laughs> um, and uh, they all have different deals. It's not like they're all $35. Yeah, they all they're have all different. different. But to check them out, it's a great way to go, hey, sample something and then... Try some new places try. that you wouldn't normally try. Like, exactly. We probably wouldn't just drive out here for dinner, but because it was on restaurant week, we thought, why not? Yep, and we'll come back. Yeah. And we thought it was good. So, um, all right, anything else? I don't think so. I think that was good. Remember, if you like these videos, to uh, hit the like button. 
don't forget to subscribe. And we thank you for subscribing. Yes. For all of you subscribers that thank have subscribed. So thank you. And hit the notification bell so you can see when our videos come out. Usually they're every Wednesday and Saturday. That's right. That's Unless right. we're under the weather or sick or something. Maybe. <laughs> All right, well thanks again for joining us with Chris and Scott's Colorado Adventure, the dining edition here on Saturday, and we will see you next time. Yep. Bye. Dodge Friendly Patio, and there's a nice patio for the summertime. Very cute. Looks like those garage doors probably open up. Oh yeah, they probably do. And it's dog friendly. I saw that. Bring your pooch. We're all around here on this side. Very cool.